Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorial Made Simple channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of XAMPP, which is XAMPP 8.2.0. On a Windows operating system, at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to install the API and create a database for Android CRUD application. So let's begin. To download the latest version of XAMPP, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser. In this video, I'm using Opera Browser. In the address bar or Google search, you just simply type ZAMP download and hit enter. And you'll get this. Select www.apachefriends.org To download the 8.2.0 version, just simply click on the last blue download button. But if you have an older Windows version or need to use the older XAMPP version, click on more download link. It will redirect it to sourceforge.net, where you can choose various versions of XAMPP for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, 64-bit or 32-bit. Let's go back to the app Achefriand to download the 8.2.0 version. Just click this button and it will going to start automatically. If the download is not started, then you can click on here. It's depend on your browser setup. It may ask for where the download file to be saved. Otherwise, it may be saved in your download folder. Zamp has rightly started downloading now. Okay, the download is successful. And if I go to my download directory, you can see that our latest version of Zamp is already been downloaded over here. To install you just simply double click on that installer, just simply click on yes, it allows you for administrative privileges. And there you go, welcome to Zamp. Simply click yes. Click OK. Okay so here, if all things are going to be installed, you need to click on next. But in this video I just need Apache, PHP my admin and my SQL. So unselect the one that you don't need to install. Once it's done, just click on next. And Zamp is going to create this folder in C, which is fine. But in my case, I will change it to D. And the default language is English. You can change to Deutsch or else you can keep the default which is English. Just simply click on next. And there we go. Our installation has rightly begun. It will take a while. So let's wait for 3 to 4 minutes. This latest XAMPP version will install PHP 8.2, which is released lately, including Apache, MySQL, and PHP My Admin, and additional application depend on our selection earlier. If you select Perl, Webalize, Fake Sendmail, Tomcat, Philizyla FTP Server, and Mercury Mail Server, those are also installed. And now, we can clearly see that our XAMPP is rightly installed. So you can just simply click on finish. Okay, we can see here XAMPP control panel version 3.3.0, which is the latest. I could not click the services checkbox, but I would like to make the Apache and my SQL run as a server in background, so it will start automatically after PC reboot or restart. I closed the XAMPP control panel and going to the XAMPP installation folder. Then scroll and looking for XAMPP control.
Right-click and select Run as Administrator. Now, the control panel is open with Administrator per Village. So we can set the Apache and MySQL as a service. Just click on the corresponding checkbox. Then click Start on Apache and Miskel. You can do this for file Xyla, Mercury, and Tomcat as needed. In my case, as I did not install them, so they are grayed. XAMPP installation is completed. Next I will show you how to install the API code for our CRUD application. We are still in the XAMPP folder, there are many important folder and file here. We need to find htdocs folder to put our script or application. Let's create a new folder. Name it YT Tutorial. You may choose any name. But please remember that you will need to refer to this folder as an API link in your application. And then copy the CRUD API files into this folder. We need to extract the zip file. Next we will create the database using PHP. My admin, use your browser and type localhost and then select PHP My Admin. Click the database and create a new database. You can choose any name as it reflecting your database purposes. I put YTDB Finance. Click Create. To create the tables, we will just simply upload our database file that you can find the download link in the description. Select this file and then click Import. Here we go, we have all of the tables for the database. Next, we need to make sure the configuration in the config file are correctly set up. We need to check the database name, the server, and the user are correct. This one is the database name. These are the current data in accounts table. Last step before we test our application is that we need to check the IP address of this computer as this computer will be our MISCL server for our application. To do this, simply open command window and type in IP config and then press return. You may need to write down the IP address as we will use this as part of the API address in our Android application. 
This one that we need to modify to match our server address. So now, with edit the API server address in our application, I am using Delphi 10.4 Community Edition to create the Android application. A step-by-step -step video tutorial to create the Android app, you can find the link in the description. We will try to add and delete an entry in accounts table and see if the database is updated correctly. It's good, and works as expected. If you face any sort of difficulty, please do comment in our comments. You will also get our email ID in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, then please give it a like, and also please do subscribe our channel. See you in our next video.